What's up guys, it's Emperor John Kill 3 d Gaming here with another video and today I want to talk to you about how I recently was able to experience playing on a $1300 gaming PC built by my cousin. He works at Best Buy so he said that being able to work there he was able to assemble all the parts he needed and people on the job were cool with him. Whatever the newest gaming parts for PC, which since I've never really followed PC, I won't pretend to name naming parts or anything like that. I'm just going to explain it the way I saw it or the way I was briefly told. But what he explained to me is that the parts he used were what is considered the most powerful currently on the market until anything else comes new. So I went, played all day, managed to spend one last Friday, stood all of Saturday and just played from that time to that, that time didn't use my PlayStation that I took over there the only time we used it was the next day so we can make up for game time so we could play with each other on Mortal Kombat but to challenge myself I also used a keyboard and mouse I didn't have him uh, put any of the DualShock or the Xbox or any Nintendo mod controllers none of that I went straight to use the keyboard and mouse and don't get me wrong I'm not gonna lie to you and say I didn't have a good time, but there's a couple key differences with playing on a console and a PC. They're right. It is much stronger. It is faster. It's better. But I don't believe in calling something better because it does one. Th it, video game. All the platforms do is three things. No matter what platform they are, there's three things that make them equal in my eyes the fun factor the cross compatibility with each other now being able to play online from all platforms with most games now and the fact that exclusives are now dying and they're now going to multiple platforms so all gamers can enjoy them which would benefit the gaming market as a whole so was I convinced to get a PC not right now I mean don't get me wrong I had a good time hell I'll tell you the first game I went and dipped right into because I went ahead and played a game that was old school and then I went ahead and played a game from now my cousin is a big fan of the Witcher he had the wit he has the Witcher 3 on his PC with all the graphical mods he says he can put anything that he makes that game running and he has it plugged to his 60 inch 4k TV in his bedroom so I played it. Now with that game, I used the Xbox remote. He had an Xbox One remote hooked to the PC and that's the one I used to play that. Then I went and played Doom and he added a bunch of mods and ran it through what he called a source port that of, of his own making. So I played. Now before I review my experience on playing on it, let me review what his PC looked like. I didn't think to take screenshots, but when I go back to his house, probably next weekend, I promised that I will take some screenshots and put it on my Twitter so people could see what his PC looks like to see what I was playing on. But I can give you a description of the tower. It was like about a normal sized Apple or Dell tower, but he had a box that said GTX on it which is where he had his computer monitor on top so I went ahead and started to look he had a very see-through clear casing he had a bunch of LED lights going off but it predominantly was switch shift to purple but I guess depending on the game let's say for example because he has a uh, regular Doom 3 and the Doom 3 BFG edition but the footage you're seeing is obviously my from my PlayStation 4 Pro but it's used as the example I went ahead and I went ahead and played that and I was like okay this is very much on par if not better with the speed and everything but something just kept telling me that nah I can't say it because I was being told oh is it better tell me it's better I'm like, you know you can tell it's better I'm like Mm, yeah it's better but it's just it's a platform that's just viewed as the strongest not what's better I mean anything that's better if it's powerful but 
I can't view it as such with that. Now the tower was beautiful, the tower was nice. If I ever get into PC gaming, it gives me an idea of what I should make it look like. He had a, key uh, a keyboard that each time I made a click or a fire, like if I was playing when I was playing the his Doom 3, which his was the original Doom 3 with mods on it. So it was the original way it was intended to be. You know, the lighting was great, especially when the original version of it used a flashlight, something the BFG version currently dropped. You know, playing the game with an increased AI difficulty and then going to play original Doom with mods was so much fun. I knew the codes, you know, I know the, the codes to play Doom. Don't get me wrong, I had Doom on the Super Nintendo, but the reason why my graphics didn't look like crap like other people's did was we had the FX chip, which was in my sister's Super Nintendo because she had connections in the old video game stores then to get it. So, I was like, something about this just made, okay, the Doom experience. I felt the Doom on PC experience for the first time. Then I went into playing The Witcher, and it ran beautifully. He said, you can tell the graphics are better. I'm like, yeah, but the graphics don't look that great on the Switch, but it's still fun to play on the Nintendo Switch. It's just like, nothing is going to get me to say that I'm going to view the PC platform as superior. I think all platforms this decade of gaming will be equal. They're all equal in my opinion. We're all going to be able to play each other's games. We all play on each other online services right now together. Like Call of Duty Modern Warfare I was playing for example recently that I got. I was playing with people from Xbox, PC, and it felt great. And yeah, I was even taking some PC players to the ringer because some of my friends played PC. And they were playing on there with me last night. So, it just, they said that wow. So it's almost like despite me using the keyboard and mouse me using the controller was the equivalent to it I can e adequately equip my skills and that comes from people that are far experienced than I am on the PC that's saying wow damn and we're all playing on the PC but I was using a controller to play he's using his keyboard and mouse and we're shooting each other up then I'm playing on my PS4 to play online so we can all cross compat with each other Nobody was better than one another. Hell, I was in sec I was in I was in second place behind my friend who was a PC player using keyboard and mouse and he left with over a hundred and something kills and I left with close to like ninety seven. So the whole keyboard and mouse thing sometimes gets overplayed because it just also depends on your skill set as a gamer. Now, it is much faster and I didn't have much trouble picking up I really didn't but I play better on what I was comfortable with it's also comfortability that matters so if I'm comfortable with a controller my skills accelerate with the controller when people see me play Battlefront 2 they're like oh wait they're like always oh, nice gameplay wow wow you're good at the you're really good at the game like and I'm using a controller and they could have swore I'm, I have a keyboard and mouse plugged into the system which I don't so if I was to rate this experience that I had along with all my gaming experience that I've had since I've started gaming and I've gamed through most of these generations I still feel all platforms are considered equal the same way I rated the PS4 Pro, I give it an eight. I give it an 8.5. The Xbox, I give it an 8. Nintendo Switch, I give that an 8. The PC and the PlayStation, I give them the same. They all do the same thing for me, and that's play games for me to enjoy games. It doesn't matter how well they run. It doesn't matter how better they run. They all look the same to me. They all run the same to me. Games are games. All games are equal, and it's all about just playing your games and not playing corporations so that's all I gotta say catch you guys next time